watch movies, you see the good guys killing people and you sort of shrug it off. That's not how it is in reality. I'd never evacuated for a hurricane before. It was just like eerie silence and it smelled like death. It looked like something out of apocalypse now. My husband started becoming abusive. I would just take it. My best friend became the bottle. Our society suffers from a don't ask, don't tell policy regarding trauma. There's a hidden epidemic and we only see the tip of the iceberg. anxiety, panic attacks, hypervigilance. One neighbor died because of my bad instructions. I think about it every day, throughout the day. It's a war within ourselves. It doesn't go away like that. You're protecting yourself from some unpleasant emotions because you can handle a question. What can I handle? The feelings. A veterans organization wanted to pair service dogs with disabled veterans. Dogs help break their isolation. We need more service dogs for vets. Domestic violence, you go and you report it. It doesn't save you because they literally have to see you with a broken arm or a black eye. Open the door. Discriminate. Open the door. So many people don't have a clue. How far am I willing to go to stay here? Where is the war? Is it in Iraq? Or is it here, on American soil? War is what I do. I want to break this cycle. I don't want to pass this on to my son. When something is hurting people, you fight.